Happy NFL Sunday, everybody. You just tapped into the BR Betting Squad ride live in the Bleacher Report app presented by DraftKings. I'm Connor Rogers alongside the legendary Greg Ivory. Greg, Christmas is right around the corner, man. Heard some rumors you're in the giving spirit yet again. Connor, I got the green on. It's not red, but it's green. Christmas is red and green. So I got the green on, and you know what that means. I'm in the comments right now giving away hoodies. Uh, I'm looking for takes, looking for takes, and I see, uh, I see, I see BR, no, actually Jake, Jake S T O N, Jake S T O N says Tom Brady for MVP. Tom Brady for MVP, shout out to you. You are walking away with a hoodie. And we're gonna get into that a little bit later, <laughs> but for now, Hopefully you all rode with us last week because the squad ride cashed yet again. It's been a banner year. Hey. Trail, follow along. Make some money. Let's have some fun. You know the drill by now. This is the show where we're looking for locks to get in the end zone. We ask you every week on social, in the app, who is scoring a touchdown today? Here's the top picks you sent us for the weekend slate. Tyree Kill at the top right there with Cordarell Patterson, Devontae Adams. Heavy wide receiver board today. And one former wide receiver now running back in Patterson, Devontae Adams and CeeDee Lamb. Julio Jones maybe finally healthy. Jamar Chase, Hollywood Brown. And then Tom Brady rushing plus 650. Tom Brady. We're feeling crazy today. Tom Brady. Oh, man. Brady. His MVP odds are way, way better than that. So... I'm excited to get into this, but before we do that, let's take a look at some of our favorite Lock Legend videos uh, that were not featured from last week. What's up, Bleach Report? We are back here with Atlas, and today I'm gonna be pulling Madden Pice to determine who I'm gonna pick this week to score a touchdown. It's my decision day on who's gonna score an anytime touchdown in Week 13. Pick a hat, any hat. Ready, Atlas? My decision is. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. This week we're hammering. Travis Kelsey, okay then. Dallas got Atlas picked the red ball today. We're gonna go with Miles Gasper. Justin Jefferson, a time touchdown, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Greg, let them know what we're giving away today. Connor, I'm not only giving out hoodies, I'm also giving away two, not one, but two NFL jerseys. One goes to the winning lock legend, and one goes to a lucky commenter like you. So don't go nowhere. Stay tuned in to the end of the show because that's when I'm going to give it out. Get in the comments. You guys want a jersey. You guys want a hoodie. I need gifts. I need emojis. But most importantly, type this out with me. I need winners only, please, Connor. Winners only, please. Let's do it. We have four legendary picks to show you. You know the deal. The last one standing is our squad ride leader those odds are going to go somewhere a little bit upward let's get it going first pick of the day comes from h bowersock tell us who's scoring a touchdown today quick before they find me what year is it 2021 came okay, it just in time what i've stolen from vegas is the lock of the century and it's happening this very weekend with all the money you have Ryan Tannehill, anytime touchdown. He's playing the garbage Jaguars with all the money you have. Ryan Tannehill, anytime touchdown. FBI, open up! They found me. Good luck. The time travel legend. I am nervous for him, not just because of that anxiety, but the fact that he picked Ryan Tannehill plus 310. Seems like a bold decision here to kick things off, Greg. Before we get into that discussion, let's see who's he, who he's up against. Decision time. Second pitch comes from Numero 25, the GOAT. Let's see the choice. First off, I want to give a shout out to the BR Ben page on Instagram for the parlay tomorrow for any time scores. Being that I am from Dallas, I gotta rock with my boy. CD Lamb. Let's get it. Cowboys Nation, baby. The Cowboys could use my man in the trenches. I like his energy. You've heard our first two pitches. Greg, we got the time travel legend, and I believe it if Ryan Tannehill does score. We got C.D. Lamb from the Cowboy Legend. How are we feeling about these things to kick off this week's show? Connor, uh, 
the Ryan Tannehill pick, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> He's flabbergasted. I just speak. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm willing to lay my. Oh, what we can do here on this show, and we could probably boost these odds up to somewhere we're ne we've never boosted odds up to before. <laughs> but I'm cool. Where I'm from, we like to say I'm cool. When we don't like to do. When we don't like something. We I'm cool. I am cool, Connor. I'm cool off the Ryan Tannehill. But we can talk CD. We can talk CD. CD. CD and the Cowboys facing Washington. Uh, I heard that they're bringing their own benches to Washington to be more comfortable in Washington. It's cold out there. So uh, I like CD. Also, we know what Dak can do with his weapons. Dak and his weapons. Last week, you know, he, he was trying to find CD a lot. Uh, so I like CD sitting at plus 115. Uh, Connor, which way are you leaning? Yeah, I like it as well. Double digit targets for CD Lamb last week. Let's keep that moving, especially when he's comfortable in the slot against a Washington defense that's banged up up front. The secondary is just not very good right now. And I don't hate Washington in that game. I just think their defense is going to have a lot of problems. So I love the CD Lamb pick. The Ryan Tannehill one, I know I'm kind of being a hater here, but Greg, I'm cool on the Ryan Tannehill pick. Where's the comment section <laughs> going on this one? Cool, it's cool, cool, we cool, cool on the pick. <laughs> yeah, my boy Connor. Uh, let me hop into the. Let me hop into the the, the the comments. Let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Uh, ooh, JJ Snell says neither. Uh, neither. I got, <laughs> I got Jersey or bust. 2021 says CD over Tannehill for show. Shout out to you. Maxwell Rexel is in the comments saying, my wife got three different sauces on my tie-dye. Need a new one, please. Maybe we'll give you a new tie-dye, Maxwell oh. Rexel. Go Garden says CD's going for 100 plus, 100 yards plus two TDs. Uh, it appears. I'm just going to make a decision here, Connor. It's a wrap. The Cowboys legend, CD Lamb is moving on to the next round. Yeah, it's a wrap. Uh, a pretty easy round one. I promise you round two and three. Don't think they're going to be that easy, easy to decide because our next pitch comes from the squad ride veteran W. Trammell. What do you got for us this week, W. Trammell? What's up, BR Nation? This is Lucy. She told us if we gave her some waffles for breakfast, she'd give us a lock. What do you want, Lucy? Oh, who is it? Tyree Kill, lock it in. Lucy going with Tyree Kill, taking her time, making sure she got the right Lucy. waffles. I've never seen a dog be that patient around good food in my life. I like the pick here, Ray, but it's minus money. We got two wide receivers on the board right now. We know CD, you can boost that through the roof. Tyree Kill, I think you could do some damage as well. This is a much more juicy matchup right here, Greg. Yes, yes, real juicy matchup. What I need you guys to do is get in the comments and let me know which way we should ride. Should we ride with Tyree Kill? Should we ride with CD Lamb? Connor, let me jump in here. You saw how Lucy, you saw how Lucy scanned. She scanned the waffles, she scanned the buckets, she observed the waffles, she observed the buckets, and then she went to go pick which one, uh, pick the waffle that she picked and it landed on my guy Tyreek Hill. I said that because I think Patrick Mahomes is going to do the same thing. He's going to scan the field. He's going to observe the field. And then he's going to pick apart this Raiders defense. With that being said, I love the, 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 I love the Tyreek Hill play. Love it. You guys know what we can do here is minus 135. You know what we can do. Connor, which way are you in? Yeah, Lucy working off that first read and going to number two, and that was Tyreek Hill. I like the pick a lot. I think Tyreek's in for a big day. I think the Chiefs' offense is in for a big day, and I know the Raiders play them tough. Yes. Don't get me wrong, but that doesn't mean you could slow. And they're rolling right now. Greg, they're back on track. The winning vibes are back. The offense is back, and we know Tyreek. He likes them in bunches. I feel in this pick. And, the, you know, as much as I love C.D. Lamb, the Cowboys are healthy now. Gallup's back. They're spreading the ball around a little bit when everybody's back on the field, especially Amari Cooper. So let's rely on the people to decide round two of the Squad Ride show. Which direction are they going in, Greg? Connor, I'm in the comments. I am in the comments. Uh, here we go. 
I see eBuggers, eBuggers1 got a CD gift for us. Shout out to you, eBuggers1. You are walking away with the hoodie. Elliot Bowen says, Elliot Bowen13 says, prayers up for the Raiders secondary. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Let's send prayers now. It is Sunday. Let's send prayers for that Raiders defense because Patrick Mahomes, Tyreek Hill is going to Carve them up, and I'm calling it, Connor. I'm, I'm calling it. It's a wrap. Putting my foot down and calling it the Waffle Legend. Tyreek Hill, Lucy, and W. Trammell is moving on to the next round. Lucy with the big pick, the big crown in the second round, but we got one more. Got to defeat the final contender to take home the jersey, the title of Squad Ride. Get your pick boosted on DraftKings. Winner take all, final round. Matt O'Neill and Jay, I heard he's got something crazy planned right here. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah, it's the Macho Man Randy Savage coming at you with the cream of the crop, top, lock, pick of the week, brother. Oh, yeah, it's a Cordell Patterson touchdown. Lock it in, boys. Oh, yeah, brother. Cordell Patterson coming on the board at minus 130. Oh, yeah. Against Tyreek Hill, Waffle Legend, Macho Man Legend. This is just like last round. Two got fantasy stars right here. CP been saving yeah. teams, myself included. Is this enough to knock off W. Trammell here, Greg? This one's tough, Connor. This one is tough. Uh, we got Cordell Patterson, who's been killing in fantasy this year, breakout season this year, running back, wide receiver, wide receiver, running back. Uh, then we also got Tyreek Hill. And I mentioned what I mentioned what Patrick Mahomes is going to do to that Raiders defense. So this one is tough, Connor. I, I really don't know which way to go. I'll be honest. Which way are you leaning? And then after after you go, I, I, I'm going with the people. Yeah, we're going to need them here. There's no doubt about that. What I'll say is, I like Tyreek's matchup. That's what it comes down to me, for me. When you look at CP, you know, he's going against a defense that has held running backs in check from a fantasy perspective, from a scoring perspective. Now, I know he does it all. He can play receiver. He catches out of the backfield. But, man, I feel good about Tyreek against that Raiders secondary. I know the comments were jumping off about that. The odds are almost even. I'm going to roll with Tyreek here, Greg, but let's let the comments in the BR betting section decide with the squad ride leader for this week. Connor, I'm in the handy. There it is. For the new people to the show, this is the handy dandy iPad. This is how you get your hoodies. My boy Albert15 said, hi, give it to my boy W. Trammell. Shout out to you, Albert. I'm thinking about giving it to my boy W. Tremble. Love the Tyreek Hill play. AZ Jeff says, Hill greater than Patterson with the flex sign. Shout out to you, AZ Jeff. You are walking away with the hoodie. Uh, I got Danny Rodriguez. Hey, Danny Rodriguez says, see Pat. Connor, Danny Rodriguez up right says, see Pat. Uh, definitely is a toss up. Definitely is a toss up. I got Simon. Houston, I think it was Simon Houston. No, Simon Hudson, sorry. Nope, Tyreek all day. Connor, I am gonna call it right there. I'm gonna call it right there. We are riding with the Waffle Legend. We are riding with Tyreek Hill. We are riding with Lucy. And most importantly, let's just let's just call my guy W. Trammell a squad ride Hall of Famer. He deserves, yeah, he deserves to be hung in the Raptors. We're, we're from now on. We're calling right him. Behind. We're referring to him as the Hall of Famer, as the Hall of Famer. My guy W. Trammell. Uh, yeah, we're riding with we're riding with Tyreek Hill. Let me show you guys this graphic so I can show you guys what we can do here on the squad ride. You guys see the graphic? It says Tyreek Hill minus 135. Poof. There it is. There it is. That's the magic that I've been talking about. Thanks to our friends at DraftKings. We're going to boost that from minus 135 to plus 135. Check out BR Betting Socials for a link to the odds boost. Send us your screenshots of your bets. Send us your videos and your celebrations. But most importantly, Connor, we want winners and winners only, please. A beautiful sight to see all the way up. Flipped it upside down. Plus 135, Tyreek Hill to get yes. in the end zone. 
You guys know what to do by now. We're not done though. We got more locks. Greg's got more hoodies and one yeah. more NFL jersey to give away. So you know if you stick around, you usually make out pretty well. All right, community comment contest time. We're talking NFL MVP race action right now. We asked you, you had to put $100 on someone to win the MVP right now. Who would it be? Now, there is a runaway favorite at the top, a guy that you all know pretty well in Tom Brady. Then a pretty big drop-off to Aaron Rodgers, Kyler Murray. Another big drop-off to Dak Prescott, Patrick Mahomes, Matthew Stafford, and the only running back on the board in JT, Jonathan Taylor. So right now, while this looks like a runaway, it's all still plus money. There's a little room for this race to tighten up. We picked our favorite two comments because we want to know what you think. Greg, what did we get this week from the comment section on the MVP race? Got you, Carter. I need everybody to get in the comments and tell me which of these is the better take. I'm giving away a hoodie to whomever you guys choose. Let's take a look at the first comment from the GOAT TB. There won't be any bias here, right, Connor? There won't be any bias. The GOAT TB says <laughs> Brady is the only 44-year-old on pace for 5,300 yards and 48 touchdowns with the 9-3 and three team about to win the division for the first time in 14 years. But y'all haters, whoa. Haters! And, but y'all <laughs> are haters and trying to give the award to somebody else. Whoa, 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 whoa. The GOAT TB. Let, let's, let's take a step back here. We are not haters here on the squad ride. We show love and an abundance of love here on the squad ride. I actually like Tom Brady to win the MVP. If everything that's happened in the season continues to happen, nobody, I mean, he doesn't get injured, I see him clearly walking away with the MVP trophy. Connor, are you a hater, bro? No, I'm not a Tom Brady hater, especially since he left New England. That's made life uh, a little bit easier here being up in the Northeast. But, I mean, for real, no haters, no hating here. And it's, look at the no stats, haterade. the numbers don't lie. No, we're not drinking any haterade on this set, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> now, I'm looking at the, the GOAT TV account. I'm wondering if Tom Brady's on his KD Trey burner flow here. Uh, this is a little <laughs> suspect, but listen, he's the favorite at the top of the board for a reason. If he keeps his foot on the game, he'll be on right. cruise control, he's going to win this thing. So, I'm not hating at all. I'm sure the comments agree that this is Tom Brady's award to lose, right, Greg? Yes, yes. Let me let me get into the comments, Connor. Uh, there's no hating on this side. Uh, let me see if they're hating in the comments. I don't see any hate in the comments. Uh, BR Betting is in the comments. Shout out to you. Uh, Danny Rodriguez says he deserves it. Uh, I got Biggie A. Biggs with the Tom Brady gif of him uh, smiling to the side. Shout out to you, Biggie A. Biggs. I also got Lock It Up. Lock It Up is saying Aaron Rodgers. Maybe. Ooh. And he... And he got a gift with Aaron Rodgers going, shh. So I like that. Now let's discuss the next comment, Connor, from my guy, Bry Guy. Bry Guy says, Jonathan Taylor is sitting at 1,348 yards and 16 touchdowns with four games to go. I think he can go off down the stretch and get the Colts to the playoffs. Plus 1,600 ain't a bad bet at all. Now, I, I, I like the wishful thinking, Connor. I, I like the wishful thinking, but my man's, like, he's going to have to go bunkers. He's going to have to go crazy. He's going to have to do some something that we've probably never seen before in order for him to just take this MVP trophy away from Tom Brady. He's sitting at plus 1,600 for a reason. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. I'm just saying, my guy's going to go. He's going to have to go out there and put on an absolute show to steal this from Tom Brady. What's your thoughts? I, the take is right, right? Brian's he's right over there that look at the numbers, look at what JT has done. But, Greg, they didn't give Derrick Henry any love when he was doing this or even doing this at a higher level. Why are they going to change now? It shows that the award is broken. It's a broken system. So the plus 1,600 to me is a bit of a sucker bet. You look at it and go, Jonathan Taylor should be the MVP or a top MVP candidate. The odds are plus 1,600. Maybe I can make a quick buck here. But it's not your fault, Jonathan Taylor. It's not your fault, the fans that think he should win. It's that the voting system for the award is broken, just like the Heisman. It's a award that generally goes to quarterbacks or guys that are the face of that franchise. And 
This award has not been won by a running back since 2012 with Adrian Peterson when he was the biggest, you know, freak in the league in terms of what he can do production-wise. So it's tough. It's just, it's not realistic. I hate to be the bad guy there. It's just, and it, the comments right, but the MVP has become most valuable quarterback, not most valuable football player. That's the issue. Uh, I mean, Connor, you have a fair, fair point, and you have the statistics to back it up. You brought on some statistics for the MVP race, man. I love it. Uh, here we go. We got D-Boy22 in the comments says, if Derrick Henry, hey, Connor, he's, he's preaching, he's preaching what you preached. He says if Derrick Henry, it's right there. If Derrick Henry didn't get at, didn't get it at 2K yards, no way JT even does this. Shout out to you, D Boy 22. You are walking away with the hoodie. Uh, uh, I got. I, I want to win. You guys see him? I DM'd you. Haven't heard back. We will get back to you, brother. We will get back to you. Go White Sox. You see it right there, JT. Let's get it. Rocking with JT. Shout out to you. Um. Look at Go White Sox is in the comments again. Elliot Bowen says TJ TJ Watt deserves some MVP votes. Hey, shout out to everybody that I mentioned. You guys are walking away with a hoodie. Uh, Bry Guy. I'm going to go with Bry Guy here. I'm going to go with Bry Guy here, Connor. Just and I'm going to give Bry Guy. I'm going to send Bry Guy a hoodie. Uh, Bry Guy, you are the winner of the comments contest. Shout out to you, brother. All right, Greg, before we get to our boldest bets, let's talk a little player props from this weekend's slate. It's yes, a sir. good slate. We got some guys getting healthy at the right time of the year. So, need a little help from the squad. You know what to do. You decide if it's a lock or a drop. And we'll kick things off yes, first here. Greg, tell them what we got. That's right, everybody. I need you to get in the comments and tell me if these props are a lock or if we need to drop them immediately. I'm giving away hoodies to whoever can help us out. All right, let's check out the prop. There it is. My man Alvin Kamara, over or under 69 and a half rushing yards. This is Kamara first game back since week nine. My man Mark Ingram is out today, Connor, which will give Kamara the workload. Do you like the over or do you like the under here? I love the over. The Jets' run defense is, doesn't really exist. It's not real. It's not a thing. They can't stop anyone on the ground. And Taysom Hill will eat some of those yards, Greg, because he can't throw, quite frankly, and he won't need to today. <laughs> he could just run on the Jets. <laughs> so I think that's the one concern that you have here is that Taysom starts to get a lot of those carries or, you know, the Saints want to monitor Kamara. But I'll say this, Kamara almost played 10 days ago. It came down to a game-time decision. So now he's had 10 more days. He should be 100% healthy ready to go, yeah. ready to be that workhorse yeah. kind of back against a great matchup for him. You know me, Greg. I don't like rushing total overs. I like this one a lot. Connor likes it. Hey, the the, the Saints are facing Connor's team. Connor yeah. is There's telling no, you yeah. guys. <laughs> no bias here. He's telling here. you guys that uh, Kamara is going to rush for over 69 and a half against his own team. So that should tell you guys something <laughs> because I'm also going to piggyback with you, Connor. I think Kamara is going to go over here. Uh, he's he's, he's going to be the he's going to be the he's going to be the guy today. He's going to be the guy. No Mark Ingram. They can't really throw the ball. You mentioned it. They're going to have to run it. I can, one run. One run can pop this. So uh, I'm rocking with the over. I'm rocking with the over. Let's move on to the next prop. Actually, before I do that, you know what I got to do, Connor. It's it's Christmas season. I got to give yes, away sir. some hoodies. I got to give away some hoodies. Uh, let me give away one. I got Hayden. Hayden Bowers rock. Oh, I think I gave you a hoodie already. Uh... Hayden Bowers Rock says a minimum 150 yards. Also, Tannehill, Tannehill rushing TD. Book it. Shout out to you. Uh, w Trammell is in the comments. He's also he's on the show. He's also in the comments. There he is right there. Says over, over, over. Shout out to you. Let's move on, Connor. Let's move on. All right, the next prop. We're talking Kyler Murray. My man, Kyler Murray. To throw over or under 263 and a half passing yards, had four total touchdowns last week, rushed in two, threw for two, threw for 123 yards last week, Connor. Last time the Cardinals played the Rams in week four, Murray had the best game of his career. So, 
talk to me, Connor. Do you like this? Do you like the over? Do you like the... Actually, I'll go first. Let me jump in because I, I just want to... He had 123 last week, Connor. Now we're sitting at 263 against this Rams defense. I, I, I just don't know if Kyler Murray's fully healthy. I don't know if he's fully healthy. I mean, I know he went for four touchdowns. He ran for two. But throwing the ball, I, like... 263 that's just a lot for me after just throwing for 123 what's your take Connor Greg they asked him to throw 15 times last game so you have to be concerned at the fact that it's not that Kyler Murray's not good it's not that Kyler Murray won't be a stud this week it's not any hate on the Cardinals it's the fact that they don't need him to come out and do this they don't need him to come out and try to throw for 300 plus yards every single week because what he can do with his legs. They have James Conner in the backfield. They're getting Chase Edmonds back, who's their pass catching uh, running back. I, I look at this game and go, man, maybe some people think shootout against the Rams. It's possible. But at the end of the day, I, it's not that he's not talented enough to do this or good enough right now. It's that the opportunity, it's hard to believe it's there. So these are traditionally ones that I stay away from because of the unpredictable nature of this division matchup. But if I had to go, I would stay away from the over. I would hit the under on this one. Connor's hitting the under. I'm hitting the under. I'm back into the handy dandy scene what they are hitting. I got Jesse24 says under. Shout out to you, Jesse24. You are walking away with the hoodie. Lock it up says 263 <laughs> is a lot. I agree. There it is. Lock it up is right there. 263 is a lot. Yes, I agree. It Lock it up. 263 is a lot. Jay Lawson is telling us to bless up. Bless up to you too, my brother. Uh, here we go. I love Impanda's 13. Murray is getting the under due to James Conner's spotlight game. Shout out to everybody that I just mentioned. Seems like they're riding with us, Connor. Shout out to everybody that I just mentioned. You all are walking away with a hoodie. All right. May the betting prop gods be in everyone's favor. We are not out of here just yet. We got to do our boldest bets of the week. Greg and I have been having some fun with this one. Greg, what do we need? Yes, from the, your One last question from the people here. Hey, what I need you guys to do is get in the comments and ride Connor's parlay because it hit last week. And I like it this week again. Connor, matter of fact, tell the people what your parlay is right now, brother. Let's get straight to it. Yeah, I hit a long slump there, Greg, but we're back. We're hot. We're starting a new streak here. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Another underdog parlay, plus 395. Ravens, underdogs going to Cleveland against those yeah, Browns. Okay, well, yeah, let's jump on the Ravens here. Money line. Falcons upsetting the reeling Panthers right now. We talked about Corderell Patterson earlier in this show. Here it is, Greg. Two teams, two upset wins. Worked last week. Let's run it back. Where are you going this week? Connor, I just want to admire your parlay, bro. I love you that you're doing these underdogs parlays. I rode your one last week, and I'm riding this one this week. With that being said, We've been talking about Tyreek Hill. He's actually our squad right leader. Let's pull up the graphic so I can show the people there it is right there. The graphic is right there. I'm going with Tyreek Hill to score two or more touchdowns against that Raiders defense. This is solely because they are playing the Raiders. Patrick Mahomes had a great game the first week they played, the first time they played the Raiders. If it ain't broke, Connor, don't fix it. You don't think he's gonna double back and have a good game this week? I don't know if you do, but I do. And with that being said, his favorite target, his favorite, one of his favorite targets, he likes Travis Kelsey too, but one of his favorite targets is Tyreek Hill. And Tyreek Hill likes to score touchdowns in bunches. So therefore, I'm rocking with Tyreek Hill, two touchdowns or more. Let's go, Patrick Holmes. Let's go, Tyreek Hill. We are riding. I love this, Greg. He did it against the Raiders last time, two touchdowns. Why not do yes. it again? They don't have an answer for him in their secondary right now. So I like where your head is at there. Plus 400, let's make some money today. Let's have some fun. Jump on the boldest bets before we leave you. We need two things. We need one, the comments gotta let us know. Are they going with the underdog parlay? Are they going with Tyreek two touchdowns? Y'all should at least be going with Tyreek one touchdown. That's the squad ride bumped up today. Why not make it two? And you have one more NFL jersey to give away before we get out of here. Yes, sir. I am in the comments right now. Oh, my boy Matt Dodger is in the comments. Matt Dodger, 
Matt Dodger says, let's go, Greg. Shout out to you, Matt Dodger. You are walking away with the jersey. Matt Dodger also, uh-oh, Matt Dodger also, uh, he's, he commented earlier. I saw what he said earlier. He, he, he mentioned he mentioned Tom Brady winning MVP. Love that take, Matt Dodger. You were walking away with the jersey. I saw your comment earlier. I'm back into the comments, though. I got uh, A. Bolander, Connor Street coming to an end. You're walking away with a hoodie. Big Mike 13 riding with Connor. Got to love them underdogs. I'm riding with Connor, too. I am riding with Connor, too. Love those underdogs. There it is. Uh, Big Mike 13, you are also walking away. Uh-oh, hold on. G. Quinn right above him. Ooh, I like that plus money. I like that. I'm going to ride it with you, Connor. Look, you're, you're just getting fans. I got some you're just love. getting fans all in the comments section. They love you, bro. I love your parlay, too. Actually, send that to me, Connor. After the show, send me your parlay. I'm putting it on the BR Let's Bench story. How about that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not letting you get out of here without giving away that jersey. The jersey? Mad Dodger. Mad Dodger's Matt walking Dodger the jersey. gets he, he the jersey. Mentioned, he mentioned Tom Brady winning MVP. He also mentioned the two touchdowns for uh, Tyreek Hill. Mad Dodger, you are walking away with that jersey. Bro. All right, you heard it, everyone. Good luck with your wagers today. Congrats to all our hoodie and jersey winners. If you won, BR Betting is going to DM you in the next 24 hours. Thanks to everyone that commented. Thanks to our lock legends, Bower Sock, Numero the Goat, W Trammell, Matt O'Neill, aka Macho Man Randy Savage over there. Enjoy the games today, everybody. Drop your real-time takes in the sports betting community stream in that Bleacher Report app. And follow Greg on those IG stories all day. There's rumors I'm going to jump in there as well and give that parlay out. Let's have some fun. Alongside the man, Greg Ivory, I'm Connor Rogers. See y'all next time. Next time, same time, same place. <laughs>